Losing a loved one is difficult, and the grief it puts on your family can be troublesome. Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Cremation Incorporated strive to make the hardest time for you and your family a comfortable one. They can accommodate for large gatherings to smaller private viewings. At Hello and welcome to NCTV 45's Community Happenings. This for June 20th to the 26th. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Well, musically, if you're thinking about doing a picnic, a barbecue, and you head to Pearson Park, the Wrangler Band will be performing from 3 to 5, weather permitting, and uh, we'll get to some more musical treats as we go through uh, this community happenings. Keep in mind that the Hoyt, this is their last week for their juried art exhibit. Uh, that is a great time and uh, that coming to a conclusion, they had that up for a great deal of time. So uh, check out that at the Hoyt. Now, uh, for your library system, and they have a lot of great things going on at the Newcastle Public Library. Keep in mind that uh, they have Fridays in the park and you want to check that out. Check with the library for the location. Also on Thursdays it's Science Lab and uh, that is at 6. Pre-K Explorers Thursday at 2. Whimsical Wednesday, 2 p.m. on Wednesday as I work back here. STEM Club, Tuesdays, 2 p.m. Story Time and We Build, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. And Lego Build Party. Lego is always on Monday, Craft Mondays, 1 p.m. You want to check that out, a weekly craft. Lunch available at the library, Mondays at 12.30. It's the summer food program for children under 18. Also, a day with crisis comfort. That was last week. And uh, so a lot of great things going on. That at the Newcastle Public Library. Now, down in Elwood City, family lap time that on the 24th at 6 p.m. and um, Jumpstart Kindergarten June 22nd that's Tuesday at 2 p.m. Readers Theater that's Wednesday the 23rd at 2 p.m. Tales and Tales that is the 23rd and that is at 6 p.m. So, uh, young adult, adult and young adult activities, Friday the 25th at 6 p.m. So, a uh, lot of great things going on in Elwood City at the library. Bookworms Group meets 2 p.m. on the 22nd and uh, Book Bunch Group 2 p.m. on the 29th. And the F.D. Campbell Memorial Library open Tuesday and Thursday 11 to 7, Friday and Saturday 11 to 4. Book it on over to your library for some great activity going on. Now, uh, we told you about the Jewelry Dark Contest, that coming to an end this week, so uh, up at the Hoyt, so you're going to want to check that. If you're in a musical mood, my good friend Gary Hill invites you to the Confluence. Now the Confluence has a lot of great music go on there every Thursday. Well this Thursday, no exception, 7 p.m. the Confluence, it's Lace and Bass. Uh, Lace and Bass, excuse me, and um, they uh, always have open mic before that. Go to the Confluence, get a nice cold drink. Maybe you want a cup of coffee. And uh, 
little food and uh, just enjoy. Now, the William B. Stoner Memorial Championships will be taking place next week. I put that out there as a reminder to you because you're going to want to know about that and stay in touch. Keep in mind, July 6th, partners to offer summer playground program. And uh, we're going to be telling you more about that as that time rolls on. Very important, and I'm glad to see they're doing a lot of work with the playgrounds. Also, July 6th, Children's Summer Art Camp starts at the Hoyt. It is Lawrence County Women's Conference, save the date, August 21st. A lot of the activities coming back, and um, you're going to want to check these out as uh, you go through. Now, there'll be Polish Day and so many more as uh, we've gotten just a lot of information on everything. So, if you or your group has something going on, email us at nctv45 at gmail.com and we'll be happy to get it on the air for you. And um, we'll try and do that. And remember, NCTV45, we're available any time on your time. So make sure that you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV45. I would be remiss if I didn't congratulate all the graduating seniors from high school and college. And also, also, I want to congratulate all of our student athletes in spring sports in Lawrence County and all through the year that did such a great job. For instance, I'm Angelo Parada saying we're available on any time on your time. So um, make sure you have a good week, everybody. And happy Father's Day. Have a great one. We'll see you again real soon.